Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything. And everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning. I apologize that it's been a thin week for the podcast, you know, just um, in terms of not as much content as I'd like. Um, And, you know, I already announced earlier this week that I probably won't be able to do anything this Thursday and Friday. Um, It's a busy week, week for me when it comes to work, and I can't really find the time to do it. Um, So I don't want to promise episodes that I can't put out there, but I'll certainly be back Monday morning, if not before then. Um, But today I just wanted to briefly talk about a nice combo that I recently uh, experienced. I had yesterday and today um, a bit of a green variety of Kratom, and then shortly thereafter a white variety And I know I've talked a bit about combos before, and I've talked about specifically this combo, but for some reason, it just did it for me. Um, It was a great reaction that my body had. Um, It was a bit euphoric as well, though that's not what I was seeking, Um, but it was certainly euphoric. And it took a little bit longer to happen, to kick in than normal. I'm wondering if other people experience this. I'm not sure why, because in the past, I've had Uh, you know, I've taken a green type of Kratom and then waited a a few minutes and then taken a white and it works out well. And I've talked about how I think that, you know, I've read a few different places that the cell walls of of a lot of different green varieties are a bit thicker and that somehow taking green and then, you know, or in combination with another one helps it last a bit longer because it takes longer to break down. Um, But I've, I've also, I've never really found much of a delay in the effect. And the only thing that was different about yesterday um, and today, actually, is that I, I had um, a little bit less of the green that I normally do and also a little bit less of the white, come to think of it. They were smaller doses. And... It's just, it makes me wonder, you know, I don't know why it would have such a delay. Even if it's less, it's still, I I still have a very good read on my body. I still can feel when it's starting to work, even if it's just a little bit. So I don't think that the fact that I took less would make it delayed. But for some reason, that's what happened. That was one thing that was peculiar. But with that in mind, it was really pleasant. And it is pleasant today as well. I, you know, instead of feeling something, you know, within just a matter of a couple of minutes, which is what normally happens with me, um, it took maybe 10, 15 minutes, full 20 minutes for it to really fully start getting into gear, but uh, which is abnormal for me. And, but once it did, the next thing is that I have found it to be very, very effective with my productivity and just being calm and centered Um, and I think that taking the smaller amount is super important. And this is just kind of to serve as a reminder, less is sometimes more and more is not always more. (laughs) Uh, this is having a much better effect on me. So from now on, I'm going to be taking less when I'm doing this combination of green and then white. 
And of course, it makes sense because you know the smaller amounts of kratom have more stimulation effect, and the larger amounts、um, more depressive. But you know, even with that all in mind, and of course, I know that it is just pleasantly surprising how many different ways you can take kratom and have different effects, even if it's with the same variety that you use often. So I just love that it's such a dynamic plant, and it's something that we should not take for granted. Um, so you know that's just a little tidbit, and then you know just one other thing to mention today. And again, it's a short show、um, as I have a busy week. But the other thing I wanted to mention was、um, there was a great comment submitted, and also just kind of like a statement put out there by the International Drug Policy Consortium. And this is you know directed at the World Health Organization as they're meeting about kratom right now.、Um, but they have a great statement just talking about you know. Uh, Thailand's history with the plant and other, you know,、uh, Asian countries, including Malaysia, Myanmar, and Singapore,、um, and their experiences with the plant, and specifically looking at the legality of it and how, you know, criminalization affects people in the country.、Um, and they make just a great statement at the end, which I thought I'd read out loud. It is crucial to acknowledge. That there are harms and benefits associated with drug policy. How a substance or plant is scheduled can have profound outcomes for consumers. A punitive legal framework that criminalizes kratom use has caused enormous harm. We call on the ECDD to consider the profound impacts of legal and policy choices that may be triggered by international scheduling, and to take the lessons from past national controls duly into account. Before taking any further steps towards bringing kratom under international control, I'm going to link this statement in the description. There's、um, a few paragraphs before that last summarization paragraph that has some interesting info about criminalization in these Asian countries over kratom and what that means for the people who are in the you know criminal justice systems there. So totally worth checking out. It's a very quick you know three minute, two minute read, if that, and.、Um, Just great resource. And the final thing to mention is that we should stay and remain cautiously optimistic. There was that statement that、uh, was put out at the AKA the other day, just mentioning that all. It, here's a quick quote、um, from Mac Haddow, who's their senior fellow on public policy. All presentations on kratom. He's talking about the meeting that happened Monday. Were clearly opposed to the international scheduling of kratom. In fact. Only one of the speakers addressed an issue other than kratom, demonstrating both how united the scientific community studying kratom is against a ban, and how unnecessary it was to include kratom in the pre-review process. And that's totally true because I looked into the comments that were submitted, and I've talked about this a couple times on this podcast. There were I could only find one, maybe two, if my memory's right, but at least just one comment that wasn't about kratom. It was about fenibut, fenibit, what, however you say it, fenibut, fenibit, fenibut, p h e n i b u t.、Um, I'll just say fenibit, just for the heck of it, <laughs> and that rhymed. So there's another reason, but yeah, other than that one comment, I couldn't find any that weren't about kratom, negative or positive, and I could only find four negative out of the thousands positive. So、um, yeah, totally, you know, definitely goes to show the importance this plant has and holds for many people around the world. Totally.、Um, so on we go. So everybody, stay cautiously optimistic as we're awaiting the decision. It's going to take a little while for sure, but、um, you know, send good vibes out there. And thankfully, this committee is full of scientists, and they're getting scientific info up the hoo ha that is showing them that this is not something that should just be outright banned.、Um, you know, how it's regulated, or if there's some sort of framework or consumer protection act, that's another story. But To outright ban it,、mm, not not quite sure that's necessary, but we'll see. Okay, cross your fingers, folks. I'll、uh, link that statement in the description, as I said before. Feel free to support this podcast with a donation,、um, and you can listen on many different platforms. Thanks so much. Sorry for the quick week, but I will be back on Monday, 
and let's keep this show going. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.